showing you some quick tips on how to make it easy to punch these flowers out with the coordinating fun flower punch. A tip for when you're mounting this, the clear mount stamp set, is I always peel off the backing of this and put it in my stamp case so that when I go to put my stamps back I know if any of them are missing. Um, and for this one, there's such a similar shape that to save time I've just made a little um, permanent marker with a sharpie um, showing me which way they go in this stamp set. But I've also on the reverse side made little arrows showing which is the bottom so that it coordinates with the punch. So when I'm punching it out that it lines up perfectly. Um, I'm just put this on here in white so it was easier for you to see because it's kind of hard to see the silver. That when I go to punch it out I don't have to figure out how to line it all up. So I'll show you how that works. I've got my Whisper White cardstock. I'm taking some Blackberry Bliss just because it's such a great good dark color which will help for you seeing this. I'm going to stamp this on here like that. And now you can see that I have stamped this with the, the little arrow pointing down so that when I go in with my punch I know that this is the bottom and I'm just going to go in and line up my punch and punch out my flower and there you have it. So it's just a quick easy tip of how to punch out that flower. Now today's card sample that I have on my blog um, is using the punched out. I didn't stamp um, the, the flower but punched it out with a fun flower punch. And you can hop over to my blog at www.stampstodiefor.com and download the complete details of how to make today's card sample. I hope you enjoyed today's Wednesday quick tip. Happy stamping!